In this tutorial, we will have a look how we can make this parallax effect with Cinemation Camera as you can see with Unity 6 with the latest version of Unity. And uh, before we jump into the coding part, I want to really announce my beautiful course for complete beginners. If you want to learn C Shop and Unity Game Engine, you can check out that course. I will have a link in the description on Udemy. Yeah, if you are complete beginners and if you just want to know uh, learn uh, unity game engine and c shop coding you can check that out so without furthering delay let's dive into this uh, tutorial we need to install cinemation camera in order to install that we will go to window in the top then package manager so just click on package manager and from unity registry so in the left bar you can see re unity registry so go there uh, just wait a little moment so go to unity registry in the left bar and you need to find over here uh, cinemachine uh, camera so you're gonna get that so just wait so make sure your internet connection is well once uh, it's well set up you're gonna get so scroll down to the bottom and search for cinemachine you can search over here like c i n cinemachine we can getting over here so we're gonna select that and you're gonna get install button right over here so just click on install and it's gonna install your cinemachine camera into your project and once it's done we can cut this step and to create the cinemation firstly let me show you if i just click on this play button in the top our player game object basically our camera is not following our player game object at all means whichever direction player is going the camera is not following so we're gonna make that follow our camera so as you can see camera is static so let's get out of play mode and let's go to hierarchy so go to hierarchy right click on it then go to cinemachine over here and in the bottom sorry targeted cinemachine not bottom so we will go to hierarchy one more time then hit this plus icon or right click then go to cinemachine then targeted cameras and then select this 2d camera and now as soon as we created our camera our cinemachine we can see and if we select our main camera in our hierarchy we can see a cinemachine component brain cinemachine brain component just added up to this main camera basically this cinemachine brain component added up uh, be, uh, this cinemation uh, camera right over here it's gonna give instruction to this main camera basically what whatever uh, really need to do this uh, main camera cinemation camera will give instruction so that's why in this main camera a cinemation brain component just added up so it's gonna give instruction to our main camera what really need to do so we're gonna set up the cinemation camera so let's select that and go over to tracking right over here and it says non transform so what we really want to do we want to follow this uh, player game object so that's why we're gonna take our player game object from that hierarchy and drag it over to this tracking slot in this uh, tracking target so make sure you just drag right there so tracking target it will be selected by default none so what we what you have to do you need to select the player game object in the hierarchy and drag it right there right there so as soon as we drag it we can uh, see our camera just not uh, our camera right now it's gonna follow our player game object so if we just click on this play button in the top we will able to see that our uh, camera main camera will follow our uh, this player game object so now if we try to move left and right we can see our main camera this main camera as you can see it's following our player game object and you can play around with dead zone by just uh, selecting this animation camera in the hierarchy then go over to inspector then scroll down to the bottom says cinemation position you you can play around with this camera depth zone camera distance all of these things uh, so we can if we check the dead zone we can see the dead zone as well so in this area basically camera will not follow but when we cross this area uh, we can see player uh, sorry main camera is following our player game object so you can just play around with this and we're gonna get uh, get out of play mode and i'm gonna uncheck this uh, dead zone so what we want to do we want to make our parallax effect 
so we need to drag our backgrounds so let's select our background one by one so let's select the first one so let's select that and drag it so as you can see it's kind of seem pretty small if we drag it all of the backgrounds so one by one you can drag it over to this in view or into this hierarchy so we're gonna drag one by one so we drag it background one five four then let's select the third one drag it over here and two so we have all of the backgrounds but it's kind of seem pretty much small so we need to make it a little bit bigger so what we will do we will select all of the background spreadsheet by holding down shift and then go over to inspector and then make this pixel per unit a less number less pixel size basically means this uh, sprites or this background sprite just gonna be uh, bigger so we're gonna make it somewhere around eight and then if we scroll down then click on this apply button so as soon as we clicked apply as you can see it's became bigger but the problem is that it's kind of uh, in front of our these grounds but before we do it our background seems little bit blurry if you take a closer look it's kind of seem blurry so what we have to do we need to select all of the backgrounds by holding down shift one more time then go over to inspector and then scroll down says filter mode just choose that one to point no filter and after doing that click on this apply button so as soon as we clicked on apply the blurry is gone by now but the problem is that our backgrounds it's kind of seems front our tile map so we need to drag it behind in order to do that we will select any background so let's suppose this one and then go select that go over to inspector and then uh, go to sprite renderer and additional setting then sorting layer so just click right there and click on add sorting layer and add something like five sorting layer like uh, you can make it five then four and then what uh, oh, sorry four and take the five one and drag it all the way behind something like this as i did over here as you can see so i already have done so i'm gonna select this uh, this uh, layers and i'm gonna just click on that minus to remove that so this is the background too if we select the background too so if we select the background too and i want to assign this background to as a something like two but before we do let's select the last background which will be all the way behind the sky so we can select that and select that go over to inspector then sprite renderer sorting layer and i'm going to choose all the way behind which is the 10 one uh, 10 sorting layer is all the way behind we drag it so we're going to assign that now as soon as we assign it we can see our this background is now all the way behind and we also need to uh, assign all of these uh, grounds this mountain these trees and this background so let's select the fourth one and i'm going to assign with nine and let's do the third one and i'm gonna assign with eight and let's select the second one and i'm gonna assign with the seven a uh, seven and i will select the front one which will be all the way up and i'm gonna drag it in the y-axis so make sure you select that and select the move tool over here if you don't uh, not getting over here so if i just click wrong sorry not uh i guess not so as you can see it's gone so you can click right over here to get it one more time if you lost somehow so you can click right over here in tools and it's gonna pop up right away so we're gonna select the move tool from here and let's move it in the y-axis so somewhere around here we're gonna move this and i guess we need to assign the front one i will assign with the uh, six and six pretty fine and we can adjust that uh, something like this and let's select the fifth one and we're gonna drag it a little bit up let's select the fourth one which is the cloud let's drag it down somewhere around like this and let's select the third one let's drag it somewhere around like that and we have the fourth one and now what we have to do we need to make the parallax effect so if we just click on this play button in the top we're not gonna have the parallax effect so we need to make our parallax effect in order to make our parallax effect we need to select main camera but before we do let's have a look so parallel we cannot see any parallax effect so in order to make the parallax effect so let's get out of play mode to make the parallax effect we need to select our main camera in the hierarchy then go over to inspector 
then camera component over there you need to select it will be selected orthographic so what you have to do you need to select perspective and after selecting that uh, make sure you just go select all of this background so let's suppose if i select the fifth one which is the all the way behind the sky you can say in the top you can see 2d insane view so just click right there and what we will do hold down all and you can just move your mouse to look around so i'm gonna drag the fifth background something like in fifth in z axis so we can select the fifth background and select this move tool and we can drag it like this behind like uh, like this i guess so we're gonna move it somewhere around in the z axis so make sure you select that go over to inspector transform and in the z axis we will make it seven and let's drag it in the y and let's select the fourth background now and we're gonna drag it uh, something like if we select the fifth one we drag it seven so i'm gonna select the fourth one and i will drag it in the uh, z axis something like five and then i will move it a little bit uh, in the bottom and let's select the third one and i'm gonna drag this one it will so we drag it the fourth one in the five in the z axis so i'm gonna make the third one in the z axis three and let's drag it a little bit up and we can select the second background and we're gonna uh, drag it something like one uh one and then if i select the the close background or the close uh, trees one or this background and i'm gonna move it in the z axis something like 0.5 and after doing that if we just click on this play button in the top to play our game we will able to see our parallax effect basically you need to drag the backgrounds after doing that thing you need to drag the background in the z axis a little bit farther away or from this further away this uh, main camera so now if we move we can see our parallax effect as you can see so we need uh it would be nice if we drag it a little bit farther away so let's get out of play mode and we will select the fifth one and let's drag it somewhere in the z axis uh 12 and we're gonna drag it in the y so let's move it a little bit y and we will select the fourth one and we will move it in the 10 in the z axis and let's drag it a little bit up in the z axis and let's select the third one and we will move it something like eight and let's drag it and now i guess it's fine and we're gonna select the second background and we're gonna move it something around six and let's something like this and let's select the close one and we're gonna make it uh, move it four and let's drag it a little bit up and now if we just click on this play button to play our game we will able to see our parallax effect just gonna be nice and clean so if we now move so we can see our parallax effect is pretty much nice but it just ends right over here so what we can do we're gonna duplicate those layers so let's do it so let's get out of play mode and you can just click on this 2d in the top in scene view to get back in 2d plane mode something like this so let's select all of the background in the hierarchy and control d to uh, duplicate and we're gonna move it so let's select this move tool and we will move it somewhere around here so i guess 40 would be nice so if we go to transform then x axis i'm gonna put 40 and if we put 40 as you can see it's perfectly matched or just gets and make sure you just select the duplicate one and drag it top of the first one basically make the child the duplicate uh, you need to make the duplicate one child of the first one so select the duplicate one and drag it top of the first one so do the same thing with all of the backgrounds so we're gonna do the same thing in the hierarchy and now it's fine and we can click right over here to collapse at once and to make our hierarchy a little more clean so what we can do we can go to hierarchy right click or hit this plus icon let's create an empty game object and let's call this game object to something like background holder or let's call it instead backgrounds and after naming it make sure you just go to transform right click and reset it and select all of the background by holding down shape and drag it top of this background game object now we can just click right over here to collapse it at once and we can see our hierarchy is now a lot more clean
and we can play our game it's nicely gonna pl uh, play our game just have a look and we can see our background seems lot more cool right now i hope you get the idea that how you can make this parallax effect and i'm gonna get out of play mode so make sure you make this background as well as prefab basically drag it into this assets folder in project tab so it's gonna be into be into a prefab i hope you get the idea of this and make sure to save your project you have to press down Control s to save your project and uh, i will see you in the next tutorial